Hey, what's up? Nick Frosty here, and here we are going to create our forgot password page for our member system. Now, the theory behind a forgot password page is your users, they for whatever reason, maybe they haven't logged in in a long time, they forget their password, and they want it to be reset. Now, obviously, you don't want them to be able to just type in a username and their new password. Obviously, that's very unsafe because then people can change whatever people's whatever uh, account passwords they want. So obviously, you need some sort of validation to be able to test uh, and to, to, to detect whether or not that user that owns that account is trying to reset their own password or if someone else is trying to set uh, reset that password. So what we're going to do is we're going to check for the user's email address and their username, and then we're going to send an email with the new password, a randomly generated password. We're going to send an email with that password to... Um, the email that's tied to that account and then from there they can access their email get their new password and then uh, and do and uh, then log in so I already have the forgot the basic uh, forgot password page here created uh, and we just have a PHP code block in here um, but on the index page I'm just gonna create another link to go here And this goes to forgot pass.php. So if we refresh this page, we have a forgot password page, and we're on the forgot password page now. So what we need to do is in our forgot password page, we need to uh, make sure that there's no user already logged in because we don't want people to be able to reset a password for an account that's already logged in. So we're going to say if no username, uh, which means if there's no user that's logged in, so we use the uh, the exclamation mark there, and we're going to go ahead and say, and no user ID. So if there's no username, then we're going to go ahead and do whatever's in here, but if there is a username, we'll say, um, please log out to view this page. Pretty simple. So, Inside of here, what we need to do is we need to create an if statement that will detect for our form being um, our form being submitted, and obviously we haven't created that form yet. So we're going to go ahead and name this to reset btn, and then we're going to create our form. So we're going to have an action of dot slash and then forgot pass dot php so essentially what that's saying is our form is going to submit to our forgot password page which is this page so inside of here I'm going to create a simple table and this will house our small elements on our page all right so the first one is we're going to have the username. So you're going to have to enter a new username. And then there's going to be a text box. So input type of text to give us a text box. We are going to set a name of, let's just go with user. And that's all we need. Then we're going to create an email, an email box. We're going to name it to email. And then finally, we are going to create just a submit button, so a type of submit, so that'll give us a button. Our name will be reset btn, because that's what we named it up there. And we're going to set a value to reset password. So if we go ahead and refresh this page now, you can see we have our very simple form here. We can reset our password and everything. All right. So, inside of our if statement here, we have to get our username and the email from the form. So, we're going to name get user equals dollar sign underscore post. And when I type in post here, it must be in all caps or else uh, you'll get um, some PHP errors. Um, and the name is user. And we're also going to need to get email and not get email, sorry, just email. And we're going to get the email. So that will get the form data. 
then what we need to do is we need to make sure that the username and the email has been provided. Um, so make sure info provided. So we're going to put in an if statement. And we're going to say if dollar sign user. So if our user variable is found, then we're going to run whatever's in this uh, block of code here. Um, in order for the user to be able to, to the user variable to be found, is if our post user is um, supplied, which means that there has been information entered into the form. So then we're going to have an else. We're going to echo. Please enter your username. Then we're going to put in an if statement to check for our email. So if email. Then we're going to have an else to have an echo for our error message. And we'll just say, please enter your email. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to check for a valid email address. Now, as I've gone over in a previous video on this tutorial series on the member system, um, is a valid email contains um, a few different things. So, so a valid email contains... Uh, must be pretty much around the length of seven, so a seven character minimum. So we'll say str len. So that will give us the length of a uh, of a of a uh, a variable. And in this case, we're going to use the email variable. So if the length of the email variable is greater than seven, so essentially if it's six or higher, then this will be valid. Then we want to say and. And notice that I'm putting each of these elements inside their own parentheses, and then the entire if statement has its own parentheses as well. The reason for that is because um, it makes it easier to check for the existence of all of these items. So it'll say, if this is, uh, if this is true, then we want to say and, so to and sign, ampersand. Then we would have our second statement. So our second statement will use the str, str function, which will allow us to check through a variable for the existence of a character, in this case an at symbol, because all emails must have an at symbol in them. Then we want to have our ampersands again, both of them. Then we want to use str, str again. We want to search for, through our email variable, but this time we want to search for a period within the variable. Now this is some basic authentication um, uh, or validation for email addresses, because an email address must have all, of, all three of these to be valid. Um, so if it's not valid, we want to have a message say, please enter a valid email address. So if a valid email address has been entered, what we want to do now is we want to connect to the database. So we want to uh, require, and we want to require our connect file, which in this case is in the current directory, so dot slash, and then connect.php. So that will connect us to our database, and we're going to go ahead and disconnect from the database to add a little bit of security in here. So, what we want to do now is we want to check through. Uh, we want to check our database for our username to make sure the username is in the database, and then we want to get um, the email account tied to that username, and then we want to make sure that the email address entered is the same as in the database. So we're going to create a query. So MySQL underscore query. And inside of here, we want to say select asterisk or select all from users, which is our database table name. If we go back in here, we have our database table name of users. Then we want to say where username equals, and then two um, single quotation marks, and then user. So what this will allow us to do is check through our database and make sure our username is found. Then we want to use the MySQL numRows function to determine how many rows have been returned uh, from our query. And if one row is returned in our query, that means that that means that the username that's been entered is found in the database. But if it returns zero, which means the username is not in the database, which means obviously we don't want uh, to allow them to change their password or the password for that account rather. So, um, our if statement will say if numrows equals equals one. And our echo statement or our error message that will be displayed will be uh, 
the username was not found. So that works. So next we will be going to do is we want to um, get the info out of the database. So get info about account. Um, and we're going to put all of this in sort in an array using the MySQL fetch a soccer fetch associative function. So MySQL underscore fetch underscore a double -S 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 and then inside of here our first parameter and our only parameter is our query. So what we want to do now is that gets all the information out of the database and puts it into an array. So we have to be able to get that information out of the array. So to do this we need to grab the um, email out of the database or this will be db email and this will be equal to dollar sign row and then we have our brackets that we use for the post uh, array there and then inside of here we put email so this will allow us to get the email address for this account out of the database so what we want to do now is make sure the email is correct so we're going to put an if statement and our if statement is going to say if email so our email address from our form equals equals that's two equal signs equals our db email so if our email addresses are the same obviously the users entered it correctly in which case we want to run whatever is in here in this block of code but if it's not correct we want to put an error message saying um, you have entered the wrong email address so inside of this block of code in here get rid of this extra line here inside of here what we want to do is we want to randomly generate our new password for the user and then we want it to email that to them then they can reset their password from there so so to generate our random uh, new password what we're going to do so generate password what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable called pass and we're going to set it equal to the rand function in PHP and the rand function in PHP will simply generate a random variable um, and then from there you can do it or a random number sorry it'll generate a random number um, so we want to set a range for this um, and actually we don't need any parameters for the random function so after we have created our random number what we want to do is we want to MD5 encrypt that random number and the reason for that is because instead of having a simple number as a password after we MD5 encrypt our password or the, uh, the, the number sorry after we MD5 encrypt the number it gives us a string that is numbers and letters and it's random so that is a more secure password than just a simple number so then from there we have our password but what we're gonna do is we're gonna strip it down so we're gonna use the substring function in PHP to make it a little bit shorter so what we're gonna do is we want to the substring function takes three parameters the um, the, the string that you want to uh, sh uh, cut down the start position which will be zero and the length that you want it so let's go with 15. So our, pa our random password will be 15 characters long. So what we want to do now is we want to um, update the database with the new password. So we want to use a MySQL query. So update db with new pass. So we want to use okay, a MySQL query. And we don't need to set this equal to anything. Uh, we don't need to set this as a variable. Um, so yes. So we want to say update and then our table name which is users we want to set password equal to and then a password variable not just pass we want it to be set to password because we need to encrypt our password and we'll do that in a minute. So we want to set password equal to password where username equals dollar sign user. So we want to update our database, we want to set our password equal to our new password where our username is our username, is the username from the form. 
Don't forget to check out my website, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe on YouTube.